Hey guys, this is Kevin from Ramshard and today I'm going to show you how to upload a custom world into your server. Now there are two ways you can upload a world to your server. You can upload it in a zip file format or you can upload it in a folder format. Now you're going to be using an FTP client on your desktop to do this. So if you don't know how to use an FTP client, go ahead and click on the link in the description and you can just go and watch a video on how to do that. So now you're going to want to open up FileZilla and you're going to want to go ahead and connect to your server. Now all these steps that I'm doing right here were covered in the video on how to get started with FTP. So you, if you don't know how to do this, just go ahead and go over that video. Now once you're in this, you're going to see that you're in this main root or home directory. This is where you're going to want to upload your world file. Now just go to go back to your control panel and be sure your server is stopped. If it is not, go ahead and do this. Okay, now that your server is stopped, you're ready to upload the world. So you want to go ahead and get your world file. This is going to be the regular folder format. So you just want to go ahead and drag and drop it. Be sure you don't drag and drop it into one of these folders right here. Otherwise the world won't work. Just plop it over to the side here so it gets uploaded to the main directory. Now once your world is uploaded, you want to go ahead and click into it. You want to be sure that it looks the same as the world file that you uploaded. So you want to go ahead and go into your world file and compare and contrast the two. Be sure that the data looks the same and everything, the size of the files to make sure it fully uploaded. Go into your region folder, just make sure these look kind of similar based off of just glancing at them, which these look good. Now that this is uploaded, you want to go ahead and go back to your control panel and you're going to go to the main page of your control panel. Now here you're going to scroll down a little bit, you'll see a world section. This is where you will put the name of your world. So go ahead and type the name in and type it case sensitive so it looks exactly as it does in the file name. So now that I, I typed it in, I want to go ahead and click save. Now this will set the world name so next time I start the server that is the world that will be loaded up. So once I click start, you're good to go. That is I upload the world through a folder way. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to upload a world with a zip file format. This does have a couple more steps to it, but uploading a file is a lot quicker than uploading a folder. Alright, you want to go ahead and open up FileZilla, and you want to locate your zip file here. When you open the zip file, you want to be sure that these files are inside a folder inside the zip file, otherwise these files right here will get spread out on your server, and it will be kind of hard to wrangle it together. So now that you have your zip file handy, go ahead and select it and then just drag and drop it over here. Don't Be sure you don't pop it in a folder, otherwise this process won't work. So just plop it on the side and let it upload. Now once this is uploaded, you can go back to your control panel. You want to go to your files, you want to click on FTP file access. Go ahead and log in. And now once you're in, you'll see a folder called spawnworld.zip or it'll be whichever world you had uploaded. Go ahead and click this little checkbox right here so it's selected and highlighted blue. Now to the upper right you will see an unzip option and a zip option. Go ahead and click unzip. Now once you get to this page you'll see the slash. This means it's in the root directory. You want to leave that as it is unless you're in a plugins directory or another directory. Just go to here, click on your server name to get back to your main control page. Now once you do this it'll say done returned ok. Go to here, click on your server name to get back to your main control page. And then you'll see how it says world here. You want to change this to the world that you had just uploaded. Now once you do that, go ahead and click the big blue save button at the bottom. And then you go ahead and start your server. And that's how you install your world through a zip format through FTP. Now this process is actually very simple as you can tell. Anyone can do it. And there's also going to be a link in the description to our article on a certain a written version of this on how to do it. But anyways, I hope that has helped you on how to upload a world to your server. Thanks for watching. This has been Kevin from Ramshard.